Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're a first timer on this channel, I do fragrance reviews, mostly fashion and lifestyle videos, as well as occasional vlogs. Okay, so if that is some something that you think ticks your boxes, please do consider subscribing before you leave. I would appreciate you joining this family. And to my uh, returning subscribers, thank you so much for always, you know, uh, rooting for me and for coming back. I want to just apologize for, uh, you know, being inconsistent. I think mostly last month I did not post as often as I'd love to post. And that was because, you know, I had some family commitments. But my apologies for that. But I am back uh, and hopefully... I will give you back-to-back -back, uh, fragrance review videos as well as a vlog if I can throw in that at the end of the week, okay? So I'm here with a fragrance review video as usual. I know you like these ones. I came across this Latafa. It's called Elite or Elite. It depends on your pronouns. Elite, Elite, whichever. And it's called Just White, okay? I purchased this as a blind buy and I'm here to talk about it. This is a presentation. And as usual, I think Latafa's presentation is not bad at all. This is a bit on the luxurious side, uh, you know, presentation wise. I mean, considering that these are, are affordable fragrances, that's what I mean. Okay. Uh, and let me state, this is not a paid promotion. I just came across this fragrance and because I love fragrances, I decided to bring it here for you. This is the packaging. Okay. That is how it looks like. You might not see much because I record using my phone. So sometimes things, you know, can just be hazy. This is not like a professional camera and inside it sits like this. Okay inside it sits like this and i also want to say uh this is not a first impressions i've done a test run for you guys okay for this fragrance i have done a, a test run uh but i'm just showing you how it looks so that you know we're together here but i have obviously sprayed it and tried it so that i know what to talk about when i come here so this is how it looks okay that's how the bottle looks like um not bad if you ask me i would say it looks feminine but this is uh, a genderless fra fragrance so let's get that one out of the way so that my 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 male uh uh my male followers don't leave okay this is a genderless fragrance by that i mean it's unisex at least to my nose okay i'm gonna spray it here okay i've given three generous sprays the reason being this is quite a subtle fragrance so you need a little or you need more sorry you need a lot for you to kind of you know uh, uh, uh get it um you know extract what it is that you want from it it's just one of those fragrances that to me if i had to just do one spray i can do one spray now because i did give it a test run but you know what i would say is if you went to the shop to purchase this or you wanted to to sample it i think i'd say go for three sprays because it's quite it's a fragrance that is a bit on the gentle side okay so this is not your beast that's basically what i'm saying now into the notes okay first thing you're going to smell here is a lot of bergamot you know lemony kind of you know vibe uh it, it's got tat it's got tamarind and this is in the top uh and uh it's got I think something in here feels like tangerine, okay? No, but I've got to correct myself because tangerine is a cross between a lemon and an orange. So, yeah. Okay, let's say it's zesty, but very lemony, okay? That is what you get in the top. And then in the mid, you got, you're going to get some spiciness and that comes from the white pepper, some nutmeg, some violet, some cardamom that is in the mid. And then in the base, you're going to get your, um, your cedar wood, some ember, some musk. Yes, some musk and some awkward okay but in terms of the opening the first burst you're gonna get is a lot of bergamot undisputed even if you are not into fragrances you're going to know that something smells lemony okay in this fragrance it's very zesty that is what you get loads of citruses in the opening you know again that tangerine kind of vibe like i said in the opening uh, uh and then something that feels like a very faint kind of green tea vibe okay and that tangy tangy lemon okay you will definitely get that okay and then immediately after that um maybe 10 15 minutes into the fragrance the mead okay comes in which is you know the the the, the heart of the fragrance and that's gonna give you um uh, uh that is gonna give you that uh tamar okay the tamarind is in the top but then the tamarind i feel mixing with the pink uh, with the white pepper starts to give this fragrance like a bitter gentle slight sweetness so i'm gonna stick to slight sweetness it's not a very bitter fragrance but it's not too sweet because like i said it's very forward on the zestiness it's very lemony this is what is this is what you should expect from this fragrance a lot of lemoniness but that i i i i, I sometimes buy uh tamarind and i sometimes just you know um 
suck on a few because it it has beneficial health uh, it has a lot of health benefits and it's almost something that i can smell here it's quite prominent the tamarind it gives it this bitterness okay that you can almost mix with that zestiness of maybe the 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 the, the that, that zesty lemon or that bergamot it really feels as though you've bitten into a very uh, uh, uh you know like a lemon you, you kind of feel it within your taste buds something like that i'm just gonna try to give you a mental uh shortcut okay so that tamarind mixes that tamarind with the bitterness mixes with that uh, uh, uh pink pepper to give it some some spiciness but this spiciness still keeps this fragrance on the gentle warm side this does not become an aggressive fragrance a beastly fragrance so let me state this if you're into beast fragrances beast mode fragrances this is probably not going to tick your boxes because you know you 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 probably think ah oh, why, why can i smell this okay uh i i can smell this and i i wouldn't even categorize it under say bath and body works or body mist no because i think that will be short changing this fragrance this is a gorgeous fragrance and that's why i said in the opening to me it's an understated gem i feel this is ideal for summer this is a fragrance i think that will project and present better in really hot weather okay uh, as a recommendation for cold weather if you're a frontline worker or you're some somebody who doesn't like your fragrance to talk much maybe okay and this is just m my mental shortcut i haven't used this in cold weather okay i've just used it in the heat and to me it just comes across as a very delicate skin hugging lemony zesty kind of fragrance okay and then you've got that nutmeg it's also in the mid you've got the violet there okay nutmeg here i feel is a great choice okay they could have used um you know a, a, a they could have used cinnamon uh, you know for instance but i think because this fragrance you know was uh, uh um the the creation the the, the the fragrance here this particular fragrance was supposed to stay on the softer side so i think the choice of the nutmeg adds that earthiness to this fragrance while keeping that warmth nature of it okay as opposed to maybe what uh you know a spicy cinnamon would have done or heavy spices you know cloves and all that i think that nutmeg you know gives it that uh, uh um it keeps it in it just makes sure nothing is overboard so apart from it being very lemony very zesty very citrusy okay nothing else pulls too much i can get again that maybe the use of the nutmeg was to maybe make it lean masculine but do, please do take note that in the beginning of this fragrance uh, of this fragrance uh, video i did say that this fragrance is genderless to me okay i've seen a couple of websites that are marketing it as for men ladies don't get deterred don't leave this fragrance because of that men don't buy this fragrance expecting it to be a manly men kind of fragrance it does have that citrusiness to it a watery you know kind of feel to it uh i don't want to call it aquatic okay but i'm gonna leave that as um because i think it's subjective okay i don't want to put this one under the aquatic kind of uh you know fragrances but it does have like a clean feel to it okay it does have a clean feel to it and that nutmeg really tries to you know somewhat pull it maybe 40% masculine but it just has a perfect balance of everything making it a genderless like that is a unisex okay fragrance okay it's got a subtle just a subtle powderiness from the violet uh because you know like i said white bottles to me sometimes i feel tend to carry fragrances that are a lot musky this is not going to give you a lot of muskiness even in the dry down you know um it does have just a slightly like a slightly powdered violet that's what you get from from this okay and but it dries down into this fresh slightly sweet lemony green tea vibe uh spicy you know vibe uh, a bit clean uh, a bit watery like vibe but not marinish I, I just don't know how to describe this because this is just understated everything is careful but at the same time it is a fragrance when you spray it for the first time you know I, sp I remember spraying it and i sniffed it and i could hardly smell it and then i just left it and then i went on and i added some more on my arm left it and then after a while i just could smell this scent around me you know i was in a scent bubble on my own and lo and behold it was this fragrance so don't let it put you off with the first and second spray or something however let me state that this might not be one of those that last and last on you uh i mean in your collection because you may need to overspray this fragrance to appreciate it okay 
and then in the dry down it's still warm it's still green it's got that green aroma it's got the cedar wood it's got the ember blended in there you know with the mask you know in the base just to wrap up the warmth so it, it remains a very warm fragrance an easy rich uh it's got some sophistication okay it's got some sophistication very a, a, a light feel to it but like i said it is a fragrance i am not even going to put it in the category of you know uh, uh juliet as a gun but not a perfume because i feel that one is too light this one is is light but at the same time it is a fragrance i, I just don't know how i can explain this it's not like a watered down gone in you know 30 minutes kind of fragrance you still feel its presence but it's gentle it leans more western okay there's nothing about this that is reminiscent of the of of, of a lot of latafas that i've used there's nothing here that feels mis middle eastern you know it's got the spiciness to it it's got the nutmeg there it's got the pink pepper but it doesn't push you know it doesn't lean towards the middle eastern you know kind of latafa yeah what what you know what you would identify latafa with it's more you know on the the, the more uh crowd pleasing sense you know those kind of fragrances that a lot of people tend to not have a problem carrying around it's not a, a very complex fragrance although it does have that understated elegance that sophistication to it okay so yeah that's basically what i get with this if you love classy non-middle eastern unisex fragrances that are soft citrus in nature go for this one okay the only thing i can say is if you love beast mode this might not you know this might disappoint you uh but then again beast mode is subjective guys it also depends on the number of sprays i always say this if you spray any fragrance even if you you know uh, 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 uh you, you even if it's the weakest fragrance if you spray if you spray say 12 sprays 20 sprays of it it's going to perform okay so that depends it really depends on you okay but it is a fragrance that i would definitely repurchase because to me i feel it's an easy rich fragrance it's affordable at the same time uh and it is uh um it's just different it's not what i was expecting from latafa you know i was expecting something that will go you know the middle eastern route this is not it okay so this is just a fragrance and it's also a crowd pleaser as well so if you want to buy a, a fragrance for somebody who's not big on fragrances somebody who you are not sure who like you know loves fragrances this is a great choice if you want to buy a fragrance for somebody who's in the fine line front line um you know uh, uh, uh industry this is it because it is a very gentle everything is in check nothing screams out nothing steps aside it doesn't turn woodsy in as much as it's got the cedar wood it's got you know that okmas in, in in the in the base it does not turn woodsy to me it stays citrusy but very bitter okay so in a nutshell i hope i've managed to explain more about this fragrance or at least help you with your decision c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today i've been talking about elite uh just white by latafa elite just white by latafa okay i hope you find this video useful turn on post notifications so that you're notified anytime i upload a video if you haven't subscribed guys why not uh join the family by clicking the right subscribe button okay and uh like this video if you like it share it if you want to share it and remember smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.